Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lonsville. The beautiful town in the uh, dangerous world of wherever. God knows. Welcome yourselves back on in, guys. Hello. What is that? Okay, we lost a load of crops to uh, drought in the last one, but I hope you're all well. Welcome yourselves back on in, guys. So if you remember, in the last one we were working on getting something set up. Up here. Now that looks really, really strange. <laughs> we will kind of probably have to do some kind of weird flatten there because that is uh, not okay. But yeah, we're working up to flatten this out and get the horse up here. I'd love to uh, do it so the horses can reinforce from down the bottom and we'll be okay. We're really lacking on food and gold, but I'm still not concerned by it because I'm happy with my current population numbers. So I am going to keep that still going as is for now. And what I can keep doing is making sure, look at this, so if we get lucky and one of these arrives, we can obviously sell all of that. I'm actually going to slow those down now. So I'm going to reduce that down to two because we're making way too many. And quite frankly, we're almost out of sand. We've only got 220 left, so we actually need to buy some more. Let's check in on the other resources here. Weapons looking pretty good. I'm seeing a surplus of shields now, which is nice as well. And uh, yeah, everything is okay. There's a surplus of furniture as well. Shoes, clothing, hide coats looking healthy as well. So just a few other items in here. Clay looks good. Iron's good. I think coal is still holding on. Only thing I think we're struggling with is a bit more wood. So let's go with a one-to-one -one ratio now with three of them in there. And let's check in on the population. So for now, we have a 36 laborers. So at the moment, we also have our second barracks that we got down. At the moment, what has happened here? Hold on. One normal soldier. I thought I got more. We recruited them before the other episode, didn't we? Maybe I didn't click it. Anyway, we've got no gold to do that, and we're going to hold on, I think, for now. We're just going to have to have one. And we're going to see this winter through, and we're going to continue to grab everything. So we've got three rat catchers in now, so they're, they're going to kind of cost us a fair bit. So we've got one there, one covering that area, and one covering the housing state just out here as well. So this is also looking pretty healthy, and we did get the wall up to here done. Now, my next little approach is going to be to get this upgraded to stone i think just this little bit here so what i want to do is just grab that and then we'll upgrade just those ones the stone at the moment and that should cover this little area and i want to get the yeah that looks much better with that uh wall looking a bit more healthy there that does mean they could probably run around that as well but i want to be able to uh, also wall that up but at the moment it's going to be in no way shape or form okay to actually do this so i'm going to flatten two more times in here and then, what we're going to do, I think I want to bring this row down and this row down. Maybe like that, that should be good. What's the issue here? Old age, that's fine. And another one being born. We're going to see the old age happening now, so we have a few more elderly in numbers. And let's also go ahead and utilize a few more fishing shacks now. There isn't too many at the moment. I think it makes sense just to chuck in a few more. I'm going to do a third one. Kind of over here, off the housing estate over there, and I'll do another one down this side as well. So we've got two already in, kind of there as well, and we'll kind of just get them all fishing over here. That's no problem at all. Now, I'm not sure at any point if we can actually sell some of these crossbows, but I'm going to put 15 in and see if that is something we're going to be able to sell as well. We're coming into year 32 here, and obviously with all the expansions, a little bit stuttery today. That's fine. I'll slow it down. It's because we're doing a lot of building. Happens at 3x a lot anyway. We've got the wooden bit here. I think I want to continue this on. Obviously, we did get our new farm in. I'm not sure whether I want to encompass that as well. Or what we're going to do here. So we've got this. We're going to need some kind of gate over here. This also needs to come round. Again, I think I'm just going to bring it up. I don't know. I think it makes sense just to leave this kind of outside and just do the housing estate. But if we do that, we're going to need to obviously get some kind of defense over here as well. But I will just get... Maybe try something like that for now. Just that corner. And I'm going to get this upgraded when I can as well. But I'm just thinking we could probably squeeze another house over here. No problem at all. Let's get that in as well. On this corner. And then we'll get obviously gardens and stuff to help that as well. We've got plenty of houses upgrading over here anyway. Which is obviously increasing our capacity anyway. That's where a lot of our gold's going at the moment. Obviously we're checking here. So population. So it's 24 now inside of these as we were saying before we're almost maxed out so that should be good there as well and lots more eggs 
We did get our first lot of cows in, but we're still not getting any births yet. So we're either going to buy goats or cows when we have the opportunity to as well. And obviously the horses, we are using them whenever we can as well. Rogue Livestock has made it, made a run for it. I'm not sure how they keep getting out. They must be able to jump these fences or something. All right, let's get these fishing areas covered off as well then. Uh, we need it in a brand new area so it's not overlapping. So let's get one there. And then we'll move over to our other one. Trader is about to arrive as well. Where did I just put that new one? It's there, isn't it? So I can get that one kind of lined up. It was already in a good position, I think, but we might be able to get it a little bit better. And I can get an 11, I think, out of this. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And there's all our livestocks being born as well. I think that was the horses, or is it just straight chickens? I think it is just straight chickens at the moment. <laughs> That's fine. We'll get a bit of meat from those as well. Okay, let's see what we got. This is fantastic. I'm glad I traded that in. Oh, and the crossbows. Yeah, that's good. I might am tempted to sell them. There's the cow, though. We're going to need to sell a bit here to grab this back anyway. And as this is at increased rate, let's actually go straight for that because that's going to be enough to buy. Oh, there's goats too. Ah, uh, yes. I think the goat might produce what we want. Right, we'll get one cow and three goats. I think that's fair. I'll turn this on. Hopefully I can get my goats in. We did buy those, or did it just not let me buy them? Where are they? Yeah, we need to transfer them out to town storage. That should work. There we go. And then we'll get the goats in as well. Yeah! Right, I'm not sure how effective they're going to be. Obviously, with two people, we'll see. So I'm sure we do. Yeah, you get milk from them as well, so they're going to be fun. And that's only four. I'm not sure what the max population is, but if I press play here... There we go. We have a cow birth rate now. And we also have raiders. What's that one as well? Shield and hide coats plus four armor. That's fine. Yeah, so I think having it up here is going to be good. Either way, though, they're going to walk towards this tower here. So hopefully that'll hold on. Oh, well, that save did freeze quite badly there. I'm going to need to probably bring my archers over this way to cover this, though. Another trader coming in there as well. I'm not sure which ones I want to do first. It's taken them a while to even get to me anyway, which is quite interesting. They're coming around here. Okay, perfect. Let's pause it a second. Grab our soldiers. I'm going to leave them in there then. They're fine. Let's grab our one infantry unit over here. Let's have them ready in here. Should be fine. Right, see how many? 57. Uh, nothing we can't handle then. They're going to come across this road here, aren't they? So, actually then, perching a tower up here might be good because they're always going to come to the roads here, aren't they? Bring our, uh, ring the bell as well. And let's go to 1x so we can actually see what's going on. Not quite built. The majority are over here, so that's fine. See what happens with these guys. They should come at this area anyway. That's how I can see it. So, And I think that one covers this. Not very well, though. It might be worth us grabbing them out and coming over here, to be honest. Or moving the barracks up here. I don't know. They're going to shoot them either way, though. So as long as we can take some out before they do anything. But we are going to be able to do that. So, And then our one soldier stood in here ready. Look at him go. That's before these guys even get here as well, so that's good. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. We're, we're already taking a few out. Oh yeah, look at that. Easy money. Yeah, we're, we're, we're solid right now, I think. We're good. They're obviously going to get in here pretty quickly and uh, shoot over here, but that's fine. Quite tempting, actually. Grab these guys out bring them over here. I might try that. Bring them over here and they can shoot down towards this. So we kind of want them on the I think defensive stance over here. That should be fine. But these guys are going to take a bit of a beating either way. Oh no, I should probably should have let them stay in there, shouldn't I? Oh no, they are coming this way. Good. That's fine then. So I'm trying to figure out what the buttons do properly. They should theoretically shoot at these, right? If I change the offensive then. Are you guys going to shoot or just going to stand there? Come on. Yeah, they don't seem to shoot. I, I'm not quite sure why. If I rally them then, I guess there. It's weird. They don't actually shoot, do they? I don't know then. Turn to barracks. You're not doing anything. The archers just seem... Maybe they're bugged. They don't really do too much at the moment. That's fine anyway. They, they aren't going to get anywhere here. That's fine. Let's get this rebuilt while we can. Let's check in on the trader. I think we had someone die. That's fine. Is that my hunters? Is that my one soldier? Yeah, it is. My hunter. Come away. 
don't need to die for the sake of dying right now. But you can turn and shoot now. Come on. 1v1. The other hunters come to save you. There we go. So yeah, I might actually reduce some of the soldiers down now and get the uh, melee instead. The archers don't seem to be very good unless I have to physically click them to shoot. Hold on. What the hell? Why are they out now? They, they've now decided that they are going to do it. I don't know. I, I have no words. They, they came out and just started shooting them anyway. That's fine. Right, let's unclick that. We're safe. And let's see what we can do here. It's a bit of pottery. Nice. What's that one? More aggressive. No. Let's buy in a few of those. Well, and then let's sell all of this. Ease is also being sold. I will make a quick buck on that. It's not amazing. But more than happy with that. That is a straightforward defense. That's actually easier if they come this way. Now, obviously, the tower isn't doing much damage to it here, but I'm tempted to uh, wall this off here. We could easily wall this off and just put some thingies down there just to stop them kind of coming in. Definitely a good idea. We're struggling with uh, wood here, though, so let's bump those numbers up. But what I could do is actually say... Grab some trees, guys. Go and grab those. Thank you. That's a good way of bumping them up. Anyway, nice, straightforward defense there. I don't think they took a single thing, so we're good. There's a wolf inside. That's okay. I don't even think we need to defend this. They do seem to run straight at this, which is nice. So it's working out in our favor. That Masuk, the silver tongue himself. But I don't think there's much in it at the moment. I may, I'm may. i tempted to buy in some of that wheat. Maybe a little bit. Because we don't have any. Let's just do it so we've got some bread. It's frustrating that I don't have anything to sell to you. don't necessarily need some of these swords. I might transfer them in and make a quick sale there. That's 600 we can at least get. Is there anything I can buy from you to sell to the other one? No, I think eventually we will get furniture up as well. I'm finally seeing some gold come in. And there we go. There's the raided sign right there. Sorry, I apologize. I'm still getting used to my mouse. And I think <laughs> it's uh, it's very tricky once you're not used to it. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. No damage whatsoever. So we're in a good defensive position still right now. Maybe we'll extend the wall from over here. I think I'll, I'm going to lay that out and see how it looks. Might just tell me it's too steep either way. I'm trying to look for the cheekiest way of doing it. But we're more than likely going to have to flatten it out anyway to be able to obviously achieve that. So we'll do let's do a couple of strips here. So we'll get this one down as much as possible. So I'll just jab that in a few times. We could build a really cool defensive position here. And we'll just pop one tower there. If they come at this area, they die, right? Get a little bit more flattening here. There's quite a bit of terraforming we're going to need to do if we really want to actually make use of this. But actually, if I can get a wall coming up just kind of here, then a road that only comes up to here, so they can only access from the inside with maybe a couple of gates. Going up onto the hill would be really good. And then maybe the wall coming down from here. So we cover this area. If anything comes, then we don't need to worry about it over this corner. Like one or two towers will probably resolve that. If not, we can get some archers up on the hill or something, you know. All right, so decided to actually get four inside the barracks. I think that's sensible. And I, you know what I've been doing? I didn't realize I've been playing on... I played at 1440p and I was wondering why it was getting choppy. I actually had super sampling set to 130%, so it was trying to run it way higher than 1440. So I've turned that down and actually it's it's fine. Put it back to normal. All right, I've popped in a little gate over here as well. So we're going to try and plan. Someone died at the same time. I'm going to probably turn the notification off for deaths to be fair. Kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to plan this. So I'll probably just attach the road and it will finish off here. I'll bring it up to kind of work with this area. Obviously, we've got this one tower moved up here and I'm going to just leave that as is for now. Uh, it should potentially just force them to hold here whilst I set things up. That's kind of the idea behind it. It's almost like a sacrificial thing. So if they come around the back, it shouldn't be a problem. But it covers us here. But as you can see, that is flattening out in a position where... Potentially, the walls are going to be able to go on that, so I'm going to try it. Still not okay. We're getting there, though. So I'm just flattening this one down at the moment. Not, It's not an easy feat, and I've changed it now, so I'm going to bring this one in. They're struggling to actually do this one here, but I'm going to try and slowly bring this down as well. So i just got to do a bit of flattening there. Anyway, four months of food. We're uh, going to come into year 33 here. There's quite a bit still that I want to grab. So I checked the desirability and majority of these houses are almost ready to be upgraded anyway. So just the odd little garden around here is going to be mm, amazing. 
But all in all then, pretty uh, pretty good as we thaw out and come in. Uh, 295 on the population now. Hopefully our farms will continue to do okay. To be honest, if I remove this, move these over, I could extend this farm to a proper size as well. Obviously we've got our goats in at the moment with no birth rate. They're all sharing the, with the, the cows at the moment, but that's fine. And then the barn should go up to six this year as well. And with that shrine removed, okay, we got bad. There's a desirability knockdown on these two houses. So let's get something in. Be fair, I could probably bring both of these up with an urn. Might go there. Get in the middle there. I don't know if we can... Oh, we can. Let's get one there. And then I can fit in a couple of smaller gardens. Or maybe some small shrubs. These actually do okay. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to have one small plaza piece in here. I'm going to start decorating a little bit better. But I want that to be the main focus. I'm going to prioritize that one. And also that one. They're going to be first. I actually turned up the brick limit now to uh, 200 also. So make sure they're grabbing those. And population wise, not the best. But yeah, four soldiers and a few archers. I think we'll be okay. And I've obviously got these two towers. One up here and one over here. That's all we're going to go with, I think. I'm going to rely on the actual soldiers more than anything else. There we go. I'll keep trying to get these in. I'm not sure if they can even get to it yet. They should be able to eventually. Then we'll do the same across this bit here. And there we go. There's the birth and the sails here. So, okay, we'll sell that honey on. We need some more sand. That's what I was hoping for. I will definitely buy in a little bit of the smoky meat whilst it's there as well. And let's check in. So... There you go, there's our cow. Lovely. A little bit more milk. We get milk from the goats as well. So cheese-wise, if we get a third person in here, we could produce a good amount of cheese. And that's going to prop us up food-wise for quite a while. Uh, okay, issues over here because of what we did as well. So we need to make sure we get a bit of gold out of our trading post. Let's bring, I don't know, 500. Let's get this one upgraded. And we've got a few of the smaller gardens we can obviously upgrade here as well. And that should prop those up a little bit more as well. I might just put a house in there. That's probably a good idea. Makes more sense. Let's just get that in there. How low is your desirability? Oh, it's just under as well. So that upgrade should fix that then. And the urns are in now. So that should resolve these problems. 64. Not quite. Wow. Was the shrine doing that much for you? That looks nice though in between. I like that. I'm just going to go to 2x a second, and I'm just going to see if there's anything more I can do for this. So that one's good. It's just this one, right? So I need probably a garden of some kind in here. I kind of want a strip in there. There we go. So we could make money from the clothing here. Look, 13 there, and they're selling for 15 to the other trader. I'm not sure it's worth it at the moment. I'm going to sell all that, though. I don't think I'll do soap. I'll save that because it's at a severely reduced rate. That's okay. This is still looking good. I'm slowing down, though. We just need sand. These ones are buying and not selling. We still don't have any type of sand, so it's going to be just our main purchase, I think, for the next one. All right, so I'm going to untick villager died during childbirth and old age. I'm probably building on fire. That'll do for now. Just to stop getting these ones from old age. I could probably do the born, but I quite like seeing that anyway. Let's get this prioritized, guys, please. I know you need the stone, and we don't have any. Ah, oh, there we go. Upgraded one looks nice in here. Of it. It's so cute. I could quite literally spend quite a bit of time just watching after you do things. That's what's so good about this game. It's what this game has got perfectly right, in my opinion. It's, it's just so good. So dense in here, the bakery. Into the marketplace. And actually, you notice this time I'm not doing pubs because the, the amount of deaths I've had from pubs, <laughs> I don't like it. I should probably upgrade this marketplace too because that will give some good desirability over here. We definitely need to work on this. So we've pretty much filled the housing area to start. We could probably get one or two over here. Um, not required yet though. So let's actually get a few more decorations in over here. So I think you could go there. I think a nice garden strip in the middle of that one. I'm actually going to put in two path areas over here. And I'm also going to plaza this part of the road and not upgrade it. So we're going to have a wider road for when these are upgraded with the stone. That's what we're going to work on. Um, obviously stone being a problem right now. Wow, this is not good over here. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the flax in here. We're going to have a double clover, I think. We'll have a double clover session. 
with a rake. We'll try that for a year. And then over here, we'll probably do something like this. Oh, wrong one. Over here, we'll get rid of that one. We'll have a double peak. Should be fine. And typically, that one right there is a 10k as well. There's a couple... Yeah, this right here. This cluster here is just incredible. We're still lasting a while over here. We've still got 9k on that one as well. But I definitely want to block this off. I like the idea of that. Encompassing this gold area. So I think we still need to work on that flattening too. And I think we'll do it from the top. I'm going to attempt to go down in layers. Like this. I don't know if this is going to work. I'll try it. Alright, you can see this pathway coming in nicely here. So we need to make sure w once this bit's flat enough to get a road up there. We should be fine. Because the wall's going to cover it, right? So as long as I can get a road going down this. I think I can. Look at that. I can get a road going up into there. And then we're going to flatten from here. This piece here. Down onto here. And I think I can bring the road coming up. That'll be pretty cool. Because there shouldn't be a way they can run up to it from this mountain. I don't think they can. Right, there we go. I reckon I could bring that up so they can't even walk over it without a wall anyway. So that might be really good. Let's keep trying. So I've got to make sure it is on the right piece here. So we're going to go like this. There we go. And with that bit being flattened now, I should be able to. So they did that road through there. Did I complete it? I think it's changed now, so it's not okay. Try that one more time then. And we are officially seeing a good amount of furniture come in now. There's just a tiny surplus, but I'm going to transfer that in when we can. I'm not going to transfer any more of my glassware out. I'm actually going to bring some of it out because we're about to run out of sand and we want to be able to keep the pickling going for a little bit. Oh, uh, no sand. No sand. We've got our own cooper in now, so I'm not buying them. I'm actually going to sell the candles for that at least. I'm going to try and build up a little bit of a surplus here, but there's nothing else for him. Livestock is mainly these guys. What's the problem here? Have I got any? Yeah, I've got plenty of that. Horses are good. We have four goats. Nice. We officially have four. It's doing that weird thing. So until I slaughter one, that should be fine. And seven cows. So that's starting to look really good. That cheese has definitely bumped our numbers up a little bit here. Then all it takes is one immigration and we're screwed again. Can I fit a nice garden in there? No, it looks like we may need to do just a couple of smaller ones. Now, I know this isn't efficient at all, but I quite like doing it. This looks nice when you have the little garden areas, you know. Is that a full strip in there as well? I think it is, you know. I think we should go ahead and get some more in there. Didn't even realise we had that fully open. Oh yeah, we can get a good boost there with those as well. Right, we have the stone to consider getting the rest of this upgrade. I'm actually going to leave this here. So we've got like multiple lines of defence. So I'm going to upgrade these. And make sure all of those get upgraded. There we go, just like that. I can I can actually do that. So they can still get up through here, but I reckon I could still manipulate this. So let's bring this down here now. Then we'll bring this here. I'm going to try and bring that up a few times. Go. I'll leave this bit down here. They can't come through this water bit. They have to come up and over. And then once that's flattened, I should be able to bring this as like a nice big ledge over this way as well. So yeah, no immigration. Look at this. The birth rate is good. So in a few years, we'll be happy days. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fine. We've gone up quite a bit just whilst I'm terraforming. I'm trying something a little different. I'm coming from the side here. I might even build the lip here. I'm just going to see if that's going to be more beneficial. I think it will. Um, we'll know when it's all actually flattened. Still trying to learn it properly, but I think we could bring that at a good level here. You can do it in bite-sized chunks to see. That looks cool, though. All right, year number 35 then. Come on, let me see how that looks once that's done. I think we've carved this exactly where we want it. Look, and then I just need to bring it out. Yeah, I've got it. But let's get this bit in. Up to here. And then what I'm going to do is do exactly how I'm supposed to. That's like this. Do it properly. And then once that squares up, I can bring the next square up. And I should be able to get the wall in to cover it. All right, I should be able to then move to the next square. And that should bring that one up. Now they got to go all the way around. There we go. Perfect. So I should be able to get the wall pieces here. That's how I should have done it, really. I just wasted a lot of time. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't normally do a lot of terraforming, all right? But that's going to cover us there. And I could probably move this tower in. Although I'm not even convinced they can get up at this tower. So if I kind of... I can actually do this. And they definitely won't be able to get at the tower anyway. So 
That's fine. Let's go to our trading. Let's try and make a bit of cash here. Come on. Oh, there's goats. What's that one? Bows, crossbows, and towers and deal 15% more damage. I do like that one, but I was hoping for some stand. We're completely out now, so that means we're not making any glassware. Look at this. Going in. I'm going to get a good Masuk, or what his name is, Silver Tongue. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy four goats. How many does that put us? Eight. All right, so I'm not sure why. I think I'm going to see if there's more, actually. We'll just buy them all up. He's got loads. Let's actually fill it. I don't know if it is 10. Hopefully we can increase the birth rate. There we go, too. I'm going to leave those goats in there, I think. And then I should be able to fix this. I'm not sure how many it holds. If I click the slaughter button... Actually, no, sorry. The maximum herd size. I'm pretty sure it is 10. Just going to play around. Yeah, there we go. That fixes it. Perfect. So 10 of 10. We have a full goat barn now. And then cow barn will be close as well. So we could increase this. I'm just keeping on top of those guys. And then, yeah, that's a lot of cheese that we could potentially get now. Let's make sure we're uh, having all of those guys in. Because they're going to go ahead and match the... Did I over... Oh, no. They... Two goats were born anyway from just before they got in. So I'm assuming their rate isn't going to be as good. I could buy the last cow here. I'm going to get that full then so it's done. And uh, yeah, lots of cheese. Obviously, that can be upgraded as well. There we have it. That tower. Are you stuck? I think these guys are officially stuck. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. Completely my fault. I reckon I might be able to free you. Can I tell you guys to work on that? Go on, work on it. Go on. Oh no, she climbed over. I'm not sure what they're doing then. I'm being weird. That means they won't be able to get food to my soldiers as well. So I think we need the gate over here. Yeah, they, they just walked out. I don't know what they're doing then. Are they stuck up here maybe. Oh no, they can definitely get up and down. I don't know what they're doing. I probably need to make sure this is flattened out then. I'll just do a square. Just to be safe. This may trap them more. You the sacrifice. It's like when they built the pyramids, right? You sacrifice the... Uh... No, that should work. Yeah, I should be able to get a gate on there now. I basically want to be able to access the tower. So can I? Yeah. And actually, what I can do is do something like this. Is that the tower row? Do something like that. Merchants are coming in. I'll let that kind of happen anyway. Let's see. Please have some sand. No. Soldiers and guards do 15%. That's like the best one. I actually may need to buy that. I need to get some of this stuff in though because... Gold has she got? She's buying the good stuff in. She's only got 2k, but that should be most of this we can kind of sell to her. Thanks is another one because it's unlimited. Right, well, so wait for those to top up then. Let's see what's going on over here. Are you able to free yourselves? You have a floating gate. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? There we go. Right, they should be able to get to that tower and nowhere else, right? Hoping. They do walk down this though, actually. No, we need to fix this. So we still got a bit more carving to do to be able to make this viable then. So do that. And then once that's up, I might be able to then do this. Just to make it so they can't get up. That should be fine. Then I want to bring in the road through here. So hopefully we'll be in a position where we can connect these up and then have the road going down here. It's going to be a lot of work, but that's cool. That gives us a bit of room. There may even be some production we can do over here. I'm seeing them walk up, so we definitely are going to be able to do this. It's just getting it right. Which I'm going to go with a big flatten there to see if that will help. And then we'll go and do our trade. I'm not getting the, the man that needs to come, though, coming through this. A couple of good sales here. And let's check in on this one. Furniture. I'm not selling. Oh, look at this. Yes, Lethros of Cardell. Have you got any sand for me? This is incredible. We're going to need to transfer some of these out. As bad as that is... We've got no sand, uh, but that is some serious wedge that we're going to make anyway. Look at this gold. Look at this gold. I can even go in and go ahead and just buy some iron or something. I don't know. How about some barrels? Uh, heavy weaponry when they're here like this as well. It's not a bad shout. We can keep stocking those up and then we'll leave it. That's fine. That is a great sale right there. And then, yeah, hopefully I can get the rest of my road coming through here. I'm going to start it where we can. I'm going to just get that in. We can kind of see it. All right, how are you looking? Kind of want a skewed road to come up. Yes. There we go. Boom. That looks good. And then I just need a road from there. There we go. We officially have a road going up to this tower. That looks super cool. And then what we want to do is probably grab this. 
I'm going to do it in blocks, actually. Let's go with you there. And then if I can flatten this out, I can get another iron mine up here. Let's grab those and then you. Let's see if we can bring this up in like a flat area. We can move some of these horrible industry buildings up here as well then. And yeah, that started to carve out nicely there as well. So if we keep going, we should be able to do this. And how are we looking over here after putting in a couple of our gardens here? Let's go ahead and get the upgrades in. Let's try and make this area look a little bit nicer. We filled in. There we go. That looks nice. That, that path by the bakery is exactly what I wanted. That looks good. Those little edge pieces there. I think I'm going to fill in this back bit with just some decoration as well. So we're going to get some... Uh, I kind of want some benches by the bakery, actually. Could look cool. Maybe a little shrubbery bench just here. And I'm going to do the same over here. When I've got more gold, at the moment we, we are struggling with our income on that. We need to make sure we are utilising it a little bit better. Let's get some more of these upgraded with stone as well. Obviously well aware that I'm upgrading a lot at the moment. And time to cause his lag, so apologies for that. We want to get movement going around so they're nice and quick. Same goes for up here. Get all this upgraded. And are they still going to be able to? So I still need to do a bit more flattening. I know I've done loads of flattening, so there is a lot going on with that. How are we looking over here? Oh yes, we're creating a nice big edge. You see that? 16 people. Hell yeah, get in here. We've got loads to do. 332. Yeah, so I'm going to keep going with this though. Hopefully, I can bring this where I want it. So that needs to come up. So just the two squares will carve it out quite nicely, I've just noticed. We don't want them to be able to run up here, basically. I could get a wall there, but I don't think we need it. I think I can carve that enough so they can't run up it. And then we can just get the wall coming over here. So I'm going to start a flat and I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to do it. But here's how we're going to do it. I know there's a lot of flattening we're doing here. I need it to be here. So what I'm going to do is try and bring one of the pieces out. So once this is up, I'm going to do it again here. And then once that one's up, I'm going to do it again and bring this up. Until we get down to here. And then hopefully a wall can go across there. We may not even need it anyway. Here we go. That should pop the next one up. There we go, that's all you need to do. And again, I should be, with not much effort, I should be able to bring this all the way over. One tower to sit up there will cover all of that. And they won't even be able to reach it anyway, so they probably just won't come this way. Ideally, we want to force them this way, right? To this tower. Only downside here is we need to make sure they can't get through this now as well. And that should be through probably just going to double one of those. We'll, we'll carve that out and I'm going to bring this up to this edge as well. And that's going to look super cool. Right, let's just check in on resources. We've been a little bit slow on that one. I need to find maybe another gathering camp, some more medicinal root. So as a, something we're going to do in this one, look at this. The stone road going up into there looks super cool. I like that. Not a big fan of that. So we're going to need to do something with that though. I don't like how that looks. So I'm just going to slowly bring these up, I think. Hopefully they'll do those in correct order. Anyway, we're going to look where the medicinal root is. So down here. I'm actually going to get a forager camp. So we're just going to get a forager shack to cover all this medicinal root down here. I'm just going to probably don't want it down in the bore. There's a lot of that. An extra like 60 we can get for the year there for the cost of one person. There is a wolf chasing my people over there, but that's fine. Let's go there. We'll get a little road from that into our other road here. I'm just noticing my iron is pretty good. I reckon we could get a second smelter in. How are we looking? So we've got seven heavy tools. I could probably turn that off. Looking good on weaponry though. And I think our shields, 16. Albert's not the best. So we, we probably want to try and maybe... Let's go for a two to one ratio here. So they focus Halberts over the shields. We're going to need the shields eventually, but not just yet. And then we've got, obviously, I think we're going to need another Doctors out here. So, let's get a small healer's house, kind of this direction. Uh, where do we want it? That would be really good. So, I think I'm going to try and relocate this well. Might need to change this up. So, we'll have one out here, and then we'll just build another well this way. Should cover us. So, maybe here. Then we'll prioritize that one, because I want the healer's house to go in there. We're going to have a little bit of space by the healer's house as well for when we do make that a larger doctor's. So that should look quite nice. Let's get that bench upgraded as well. Oh, we're being raided. God, what's going on? Right, they are coming from this direction. Weird. Okay, so they're probably going to come straight at this area. Absolutely fine. 
It'd be cool if the the raiders got caught in your traps, wouldn't it? We are yet to see any of the trebuchets and stuff, so we do need to be careful. All right, here they come. Hunter has gone in. Might bring you back, Hunter. Not be daft about it. I know you almost killed one. They're still quite weak, our attackers, anyway, so we're fine. That looks like the smaller bunch. They're going to come straight through this area. I think they're going to be stuck for a long, the long way around. How many are coming? 70. Oh, God. I think uh, he's going to go down, potentially. Come on in. See if you can get your booty in. Then we'll grab these hunters. I don't want them to die almost. I'll let them shoot before they move in. Then I'll get them in. Oh, they're going to kill a few anyway. Oh, my God. Look at them go. Come here. Come here. Let's get you towards the barracks here. Let's try and kill a few. Then you can shoot again because they're going to come at the barracks anyway. Perfect. Right, I'm not even going to move the other ones over because they should run at that area anyway. So I hear you about the pathing, but it's fine. I think we're going to send a few packing here anyway with the uh, thingies. And then this, I can kind of grab them out, flag them on the back of those raiders. The other ones aren't in yet either. That should be fine. Yeah, hunters are now going in. Absolute lunatics. Is that hunters or is that soldiers? Hold on. They look like soldiers. Light infantry. Okay, so I guess when they use their arrows up, they come on out. They're already doing it. Look at them go! Absolutely ripping through. We might lose a few soldiers here, but that's okay. Is it okay? Don't know. Oh, they're holding on. Go on. Gotta be careful here. Hopefully they... Yeah, we just sent those packing. Where are the rest? Right, we lost one. I think. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It says garrisoning. Not quite sure. I guess when they're in... Ah, here they come. Right, they're pathing okay, I think. So they're going to come at this, but hopefully they come towards this area. I think we should be okay. And then hopefully these guys can heal up a tiny bit before they come in. I think they're going to. We killed 12. Oh, the whole bulk is coming over here. So this is a very big weak spot of ours. Maybe I need to bring them over. Let's bring them over. I'm going to get my archer squad ready. Uh, just if they come this way, we can kind of shoot them, kite them back. I think that's sensible. There's a whole bunch going there as well. Okay, let's ring the bell. Let's get those guys in. And let's get these soldiers coming up as well. So we'll get our infantry up here. Grab these guys to hopefully shoot at these when they get in range. They should do. A raid camp. Where's the raid camp? Oh, nice. We need to deal with that raid camp. That is the first time I'm seeing one. So we've got a raid camp going. Uh, okay, you can go. That's fine. So what have we got? We've killed 12. We're not actually in a good way. That defense-wise wasn't very good. We're going to need to look at that. That's okay. Bring these up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some shots at these guys. Come on. All right, we killed one. Then we're going to bring them back. And then we'll just kind of run them around here. I don't want you guys fighting, so can you go and get in? All right, shoot. Why not? Boom. Oh, yeah, you can use these good. I could separate these out. I know you're not meant to micro them that much, but that should be fine. He's coming this way, so just annihilate him, guys. Go kill some more. I'd rather you didn't do that. Thank you. Shoot them. Then we'll send the soldiers in the back. There they go. Nice. Guys, chill, chill, chill. Soldiers go in. That's what we want. Okay, we've killed a bunch, I think. Yeah, we're good. Bring you away whilst the other guys shoot you. <laughs> right, I'm being a bit cheeky, but it's working. And my four soldiers came in and absolutely ripped through those guys. So I think they're all counting as separate raid parties. I think we should be fine, though. What are all you guys doing? All right, relatively okay. It does mean we need to get something over this side. That's fine. I just want to finish solidifying this area. I could just move this now. I think this one tower maybe could move over. Um, 
and maybe horsemen in the back, but those soldiers did some serious damage. I don't think they can get up on there anymore. Just want to point out, guys, what I did do is change the farmers now. So I added some more back in. So I assigned a couple more workers because we were hitting rubbish yields. So yeah, I did change them up and uh, they're definitely giving us a much better yield now. Um, and I've managed to keep the weed levels kind of coming down. So we could probably get rid of one of those. Maybe get a turnip in there now. Guys, that is going to be where I end this one out. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to keep carving things down. I'm going to fix all the fences. You can show me some more support by subscribing. That is wonderful. And if you want to support me that little bit extra, consider becoming a member on either the channel or I do have Patreon as well. As always, guys, have a great day. I'll see you soon.